If you've ever cared for a loved one with Alzheimer's, it can be one of your worst fears. It's playing out for one man in Pueblo, his husband gone without a trace after wandering away from their home. Good evening, I'm Heather Skold. And I'm Bart Bedsoul. Thanks for making us your choice for news at 6. He got out of bed in the middle of the night and hasn't been seen since. Now, after two and a half days, he's still gone without a trace, leaving police and the man's husband desperate for your help. Cardio News Channel 13's Dan Beatty is live outside the couple's home on Pueblo's north side. Dan. Heather Bart, I'm told Daniel Otero has a brief history of wandering around the neighborhood behind me. More than a decade ago, Otero was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Unfortunately, this time, loved ones haven't been able to find him as he wandered off over the weekend. He, um, Dan, just seems to have evaporated. Neil Woodard last saw his husband of more than four decades at 4.15 a.m. Saturday, getting out of bed, going to the bathroom. Normally, he would come back to bed within a few minutes. Um, Saturday morning, he did not come back to bed in a few minutes, and I thought, uh-oh, he's off wandering again. This isn't the first time. Since moving to Pueblo, Daniel often wanders the neighborhood. But when Neil came outside hoping to see his husband, the 81-year-old was nowhere to be seen. This is not happening. This cannot be real. <laughs> yeah. um, this cannot be real. Not long after Woodard called 911, Pueblo police began searching. But his husband is finding it difficult to remain optimistic. Otero hasn't had any of his medications since Friday. But I just don't see, given his physical constitution and mental state, how he could survive a day. I hope he is at rest somewhere, whether alive or not. Otero was last seen wearing blue scrubs pants, a white t-shirt, socks, no shoes, and he is believed to be pushing a walker. Even though it's getting more difficult for loved ones to hold out hope, Daniel's husband is leaving a chair outside of their front door just in case Daniel wanders on back home. Reporting live in Pueblo, Dan Beatty, KRDO, News Channel 13. All right, Dan, thank you. Surprise and disappointment for some in an El Paso County courtroom. A man accused of murdering his own young son now wants to go to trial rather than go straight to prison on a plea deal. The shooting happened last summer in Yoder, about 40 minutes east of Colorado Springs. KRDO News Channel 13.